This is how you configure the photo settings for Social Booth. You'll first be shown a preview of the default template. You can go into edit mode and select from a couple of other presets. You can see a 2x2 two two postcard. A 1x3 postcard. And a 2x1 postcard. You can edit these templates just like you do in other PhotoBooth software by putting the photo size and the photo location and the photo rotation here. So here if I'm taking three shots and there's three shots in my layout, I could assign shot number one is going to be this size and this location. This is the top left corner. If I go back and I select one of the strip layouts, You'll, you'll see I have shot number one showing up in two places, which is going to be the two columns. If you have a strip, you should check display half. This way, once the photo is shown in the software, it won't show two columns, it'll only show the one column, which is what the user will be getting. As an example of how to use an alpha channel as an overlay, we'll select the one by one postcard layout. So here, I'm just overlaying the photo with Solutions logo here with no background. So this is a full screen printout with an overlay. So you'll see this PNG file doesn't have a background and it is transparent PNG with just the logo. In this case, the Use Alpha button is checked. If you want to make a new preset, you can select your own background file, define the number of shots, the number of photos in the layout, their sizes, and their locations, and then hit save, and you can create your own preset to load. You can also import XML from Breeze and PhotoBooth if you already have your layout set up in that software. You can also import any templates you buy from PhotoBooth Owner's Design Shop. Simply select the coordinates.txt and your template and layout settings are already imported. The PhotoBooth Owner's Design Shop as well as the Breeze and PhotoBooth templates will use overlay files, so they're usually split up into a background JPEG and an overlay.png. If you're making your own templates, you should follow the recommended template size guidelines here. Depending on your make and model of printer, you should make your background image the following pixel width and height. 